In this video, I will talk about the penicillin family. What is the chemistry of penicillin family? The basic structures of penicillin consist of four membered beta lactam ring, which attach to cells of the ring are, and are side chain. Members of this family, of penicillin family, differ from one another in the R substitutions that attach to the six amino penicillic acid structures. So the R side chains is responsible of penicillin uh, properties. What is the mechanism of action of penicillin family? Penicillin is considered as bactericidal and inhibits cell wall synthesis. So penicillin interferes with the last step of bacterial cell wall synthesis, which is a cross-linking of adjacent peptidoglycan strands by a process known as transpeptidation. Beta-lactam antibiotic structural analogs of natural DNA DNA substrate that currently bind to the active site of penicillin binding protein. This binding inhibits the transpeptidation reaction and halts peptidoglycan process and inhibits peptidoglycan synthesis and repair causing degrade the rigidity of the cell wall and then cytolysis and the cell dies. Autolysine are involved in addition to disruptions of cross-linking of the cell wall. So, the penicillin known as bactericidal. Beta-lactam antibiotic kill bacteria cell only when they are actively growing and synthesizing, synthesizing cell wall. The bacterial resistance in penicillin family caused by inactivations of antibiotic by enzyme known as beta-lactamase enzyme or modifications of target penicillin binding protein so inhibiting bindings of beta-lactam to the target protein. The third one is by impaired penetrations of the drug to target penicillin binding protein or by antibiotic efflux. Antibiotic efflux, which means highly actively remove antibiotics from the inside of the bacteria, so decrease or reduce the amount of intracellular drugs inside the bacteria, such as in eclipsilia pneumonia. A classifications of penicillin family by substitutions in the six amino penicillinic acid moiety so determine the essential pharmacological and bacterial properties of the resulting antibiotic. The first class of penicillin family is natural penicillin which means penicillin G and penicillin V that are obtained from fermentations of the fungus penicillinium chrysogenum. Penicillin G is destroyed by gastric acid. Intravenous administration of penicillin G is preferred to the intramuscular route because the intramuscular causes irritations and local pain from intramuscular injection of large dose. The half-life or normal half-life of penicillin G is approximately 13 minutes, but in renal failure may be as long as 10 hours. Penicillin remains the drug of choice for treatment of many conditions such as gangrene, syphilis, bacterial meningitis, bacterial endocarditis, cellulitis, erysipelas that caused by streptococcus, diphtheria, anthrax, bacillus, actinomyces, tetanus, and rat bite fever. Penicillin G are available as intramuscular injection such as penzathin, benzyl penicillin, and brocaine, benzyl penicillin. Brocaine, benzyl penicillin, which is brocaine is local anesthetics that is combined with penicillin G that lasts up to 24 hours. Pinzatin benzyl penicillin which is effective for treatment for beta hemolytic streptococcal pharyngitis by giving intramuscularly once every 3-4 weeks is to prevent reinfection. Pinzatin penicillin can be given intramuscularly once a week for, effect, for treatment of syphilis. So, indications of pinzatin penicillin is for upper respiratory tract infection, rheumatic fever prophylaxis, Yes, and syphilis. Penicillin V, the oral form of penicillin or oral form of natural penicillin is more acid stable, is indicated only in minor infection because it is relatively, uh, it is relatively poor bioavailability that near for dosing four times a day and its narrow antibacterial spectrum. The second class of penicillin family, which known as amino penicillin, the example of this class. Ampicillin and amoxicillin is semi-synthetic penicillin, which extended spectrum penicillin are created by chemically. This drug 
have a greater activity than penicillin against gram-negative bacteria because of their enhanced ability to penetrate the gram-negative outer membrane, such as hemophilus, hemophilus, influenza, Escherichia coli, Proteus, Mirabilis. They are this group. They are inactivated by many beta lactamases. There are differences between amoxicillin and ampicillin. Amoxicillin is better absorbed orally. Amoxicillin is given three times daily, but ampicillin given four times daily. Ampicillin, but not amoxicillin, is effective for treatment of shigellosis. Ampicillin, with or without the additions of gentamicin, is the drug of choice for the gram-positive bacillus listeria monocytogenous and susceptible enterococcal species. Amoxicillin is employed prophylactically by dentists in high-risk patients for the prevention of bacterial endocarditis. These extended spectrum agents are also widely used in the treatment of respiratory tract infection. Pacampicillin is a prodrug ampicillin to increase absorption of ampicillin. This group in ampicillin and amoxicillin is present in combinations with beta-lactamase inhibitor. Amoxicillin and ampicillin are available in combination with one of several beta-lactamase inhibitors such as eclavirunic acid, solbactam, or tazobactam. What is the beta-lactamase inhibitor? Beta-lactamase inhibitors are similar in chemical structure of beta-lactam antibiotics allowed to interact with beta-lactamase enzyme that secrete by certain bacteria. They are irreversible inhibitors. The third class of penicillin family, which is known as anti-staphylococcal penicillin, such as methicillin, nephicillin, oxacillin, fluoxacillin, cloxacillin, and digloxacillin are beta-lactamase resistant penicillin. So this penicillin assists the beta-lactamase enzyme that uh, generates by certain types of bacteria. Methicillin is not used clinically in the United States except in the laboratory test because this methicillin causing interstitial nephritis. This class have minimal to no activity against gram-negative infection. Oxacillin and nephicillin is considered or are considered drug of choice for serious staphylococcal infection such as endocarditis. Oxacillin, digloxacillin, fluoxacillin, fluoxacillin, and digloxacillin can be administered orally. This group are also present in combination with amoxicillin and ampicillin. The fourth class of penicillin family, which is known as anti-pseudomonal penicillin. This class has two subclass, which is known as carbo carboxypenicillin and uridipenicillin. Carboxypenicillin have carbenicillin and ticraselin. Uridipenicillin have piperacillin, mesocillin, and azlocicillin. This group refers to as anti pseudomonal penicillin because of further increased activity against gram negative, especially pseudomonas aeruginosa. This class of penicillin family are also present in combination with, with beta-lactamase inhibitor, such as ticraselin with clavinuric acid or piperacillin with tazobactam. And pharmacokinetics of penicillin family. Administration. The route of administration of beta-lactam antibiotic is determined by the stability of the drug to gastric acid and by the severity of the infection. The absorption, the acidic environment within the intestinal tract is unfavorable for the absorption of penicillin. In the case of penicillin V, only one third of oral dose is absorbed under the best of conditions. Food degrees the absorption of penicillinase resistant penicillin because as gastric epidemic time increases, the drug is destroyed by stomach acid. Therefore, it should be taken on empty stomach. Conversely, amoxicillin is stable in acid and is readily absorbed from the gastrointestinal tract. Distribution The beta-lactam antibiotics distribute well throughout the body. All the penicillin cross the placenta barrier, but none have been shown to have teratogenic effect. Penetration into the bone or cerebrospinal fluid is insufficient for therapy unless these sites are inflamed. Penicillin level in the prostate and eye are insufficient to be effective against infection. Metabolism of penicillin family. Host metabolism of the beta-lactam antibiotic is usually insignificant, but some metabolism of penicillin G may occur in patients with impaired renal function. 
Nasicillin and zucillin are exceptions to the rule and primarily metabolized in the liver. The primary route of excretion is through the organic acid tubular secretory system of the kidney as well as by glomerular filtration. Patients with renal infarction must have dosage regimen adjusted. Because nasicillin and oxacillin are primarily metabolized in the liver, this is a drug that not required dose adjustment in patients with renal insufficiency. But a proper seed the uh, propylene seed inhibit the secretions of penicillin by competing for active tubular secretion. So there is interaction between the propylene seed and penicillin. So the propylene seed increases the blood level of penicillin family antibiotics. The, penicillin, the penicillins are also excreted in the breast milk. Oxacillin and dicloxacillin and cloxacillin are eliminated by both the kidney and bile excretion. Adverse reactions. Hypersensitivity. Approximately 10% of patients self-reported allergy to penicillin. The action range from rash to angioedema and anaphylaxis. Across allergic reactions are occur among the beta-lactam antibiotics. Diarrhea. Diarrhea is a common problem that is caused by disruptions of the normal flora or normal balance of intestinal microorganisms. Pseudomonas Colitis from Clostridium difficile and other organisms might occur with penicillin use. Nephritis. Penicillin, particularly methicillin, have the potential to cause acute interstitial nephritis. Neurotoxicity. The penicillins are irritating to neural tissue, so they are can provoke seizures. So if a patient or epileptic patient are particularly at risk due to the ability of penicillin to cause Cabergic inhibition. Hematological toxicity. Decreased coagulation may be observed with high dose of pepercillin and nafacillin and some extent with penicillin G. Cytopenia have been associated with therapy of greater than two weeks and therefore blood content should be monitored weekly for such patients. Bye. See you later.